Hey there, I'm Lane Johnson. Welcome to my studio. Today I'm really excited because I'm gonna try out some new brushes. It's actually a new line of brushes made by Princeton. They're the Princeton Aspen Shorts. This particular one is the Short Bright. It's gonna be perfect for blocking in the blues in the sky, chiseling those colors in around the cloud. Let's get going. I'll be using my Mary Classico oil paints for this demonstration. Okay, I'm trying out this nice new brush. I'm gonna be cutting in some blue around this, this cloud. And so far, so good. Got good control. Let's speed this up. This is the number 16 Aspen Short Bright. Uh, it's really good uh, to get a lot of pigment on the brush and it's cutting in nicely around the shape of this cloud. What you're looking at is also, this is an underpainting I've done. Uh, I've first done an imprimatura, which is a first layer of, in this case, I was using uh, burnt sienna. And uh, then I rubbed out highlights while, while the paint was still wet. And then came back the next day and completed the underpainting with a darker valued uh, earth tone value. In this case, I, I believe I was using just more burnt sienna and Van Dyck brown. It's the way I start nearly all of my paintings. And uh, what this does, it's useful to build up luminosity. It also tends to uh, help you solve a lot of the problems in the painting early uh, because you're dealing with values instead of the color. You can see that this brush really can put down paint. It holds a lot of paint. And you can cut in really well with it. This is just a block in the stage. I may come back on this blue and paint a different blue or, or change it a little bit but right now it's just blocking in, getting this painting going. I'll bring another blue in. Oftentimes when I'm doing blended skies, I'll, I'll uh, do different colors and then blend them together. Again, nice cut-ins on this little edge of the cloud here and the tree. This is, a, like I said, this is a short bright. Uh, brights are I'm, one of my favorite brushes, actually. When they were little, little small ones, I like to use them to uh, detail leaves and foliage. And uh, the Aspen line of brushes in particular, this is the sh short uh, brushes, which is a new line. But the, the Aspens are, are really good at detail. Uh, they're good at blending. They're, they're just overall good brush. I know that they have very, you can get really crisp edges with, with the big ones, like grass even. I mean, it's amazing. I'm looking forward to trying out the other ones. Yep. That's one thing, I mean, the, with your brush pressure, you can lay down a lot of paint, but at the same time, you can also very lightly pull this brush and blend things nicely.
This is just the very beginning of this painting where everything is blocking in. I'm starting with the sky and the furthest thing away, which is the sky. And I'll move forward. And as I move forward, I'll be showing you some more brushes. Some of the Aspen Shorts, these new brushes. I think that's good enough. Time to move on to the next part of this painting. I always say I'm stopping, and I never do. <laughs> hey, that was a lot of fun painting with this brush. Make sure you watch the next video where I'll be demonstrating another one of the Aspen short brushes made by Princeton.